Hi, I'm Roger Bindle. I'm at the Schumacher Farm Park. They're not going to have a heritage festival this year, so I thought I'd demonstrate a few things and show a few videos from the past on planting, sowing, on cutting and binding, and eventually threshing using a steam-powered engine. Today I'm out in the field cutting some wheat and this is how they would have done it back probably the late 1800s. They used a long sickle like this to cut the wheat down. Another way to do this was with a hand sickle. It's actually a little bit easier than the large one because that's fairly heavy and takes a pretty big swing. But afterwards, we'll take these and separate the kernels by threshing it by hand. So, back in the late 1800s, this is how they harvested their wheat. As you can see, I'm working up a pretty good sweat already out here. Today's a fairly hot, humid day, but imagine what it would have been like being out here all day long cutting this whole field. And this is a small field, but it's rather interesting. That's how they used to do it. Oops. <laughs> and of course, Sometimes you got to pick up after yourself. There are a couple methods they would have used for threshing the wheat afterwards. One would have been to take a bucket like this, but it would have been a metal bucket back at those times. And thresh it around in the bucket and most of the grains come off. Another method was to use this flailing machine, failing, flailing tool. If you notice, it's two sticks on a swivel. In this case, it's a leather with some rope on it. And they would use that to beat on the wheat to separate the grains. Now, I'm not gonna beat on it too hard because this is from the 1890s. It's gotten fairly fragile. Uh, leather is cracking and drying, but this is what they did it like back in about 1890. So I've been beating on this quite a bit. I took the bundles and I beat on them until the grains come out. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit of grain. Lift this up on a windy day and what would happen is the seeds fall to the ground and the shaft blows away. So there's a bit of work left to be done after this. So finally, after the grain has dried and ready to be milled, here we have a hand mill that they used back in the time. You could put corn, oats, wheat, whichever, and adjust the thickness. And again, it's a hand task, but I'm inside and it's shady, so it's much better than out in that sun. And this has been Roger Bindle at the Schumacher Farm Park. The original house is back there. A replica windmill that came in later on. And this was what it was like in a day of cutting wheat, doing a little bit of threshing doing it all by hand, which again would have been back in the late 1800s. Uh, by the 1920s and 30s, which that's what this farm is all about, they would have been using the machines that I'll show you next. Hope you enjoyed.